I'm Katie Picks and welcome to my kitchen. I'm very honoured to have you here today. I'm very excited because we're going to do a little festive recipe with some marshmallow snowmen. This festive period is all about give a little love and I want to share that love in the form of my favourite thing, sweet treats. So I'm a marshmallow fiend any day of the year and today we are going to make a beautiful, giftable marshmallow snowman that you can package up and send to your loved ones near and far because they also keep really well. We're a really big family, so our Christmas is normally approximately 20 odd people, which obviously we're scaling back a lot this year. But it doesn't matter whether there's 20 of us or two of us, as long as we're in the kitchen cooking together. It's getting the smells, it's getting the tastes, it's getting the colours of Christmas that turns an average Sunday roast into something really, really special. So the first thing we're going to do is our leaf gelatin into a pan, off the heat, and we're just going to let them start to soak. So whilst our gelatin is softening, we're going to start to make our sugar syrup. So that is caster sugar. And we're going to pop that onto a very low heat. Oh. This is where I realise that I don't know how to use my hob. New kitchen, new sparkly kitchen, but I am getting used to the gadgets in it. There it is. <laughs> to our sugar, we're going to also add golden syrup and water, and we're just going to let it dissolve. The great thing about this recipe is we do not touch this at this point. Hands off, let it alone. The whole recipe is in the link below. Spices equal Christmas. We're talking everything that smells and tastes like Santa Claus has just arrived on your doorstep. So I'm going to go in with cloves. I wonder if they do like a bubble bath with this. Star anise. Grating of nutmeg. Fresh nutmeg has got the most incredible flavour to it. But it's powerful, so you don't need a lot. And one stick of cinnamon. It's all coming together. These spices are also Christmas spices because they're warming. They naturally give your whole body and mouth that beautiful, comforting feeling, which is what we want when people bite into that squishy marshmallow. Okay, I'm gonna leave that, let that have 10 minutes. And whilst that's doing its thing, I'm gonna do my egg whites. So for this recipe, you need two large free range egg whites. So you're then left with the yolks and not really sure what to do with it. Skip that, Clarence Court have brought out a carton of egg whites and we're gonna whip it up into stiff peaks. Looking good. Now that's done, we're going to move back over to our sugar syrup. This has had about 10 minutes to steep, so all those flavours are beautifully infused, but we don't want sticks in our marshmallow. So I'm going to decant our cinnamon, our star anise, and our cloves. Please use a slotted spoon and please be careful. That is very hot syrup. Right, we're now going to crank up the heat and we're going to boil this sugar syrup and we want to get it to between 112 and 115 degrees centigrade in temperature. And the best thing to do is grab yourself a thermometer. At this point, please do not stir it. If you stir it, you're very likely to crystallise it. So whilst this is getting up to temperature, we're going to put our gelatin onto a low to medium heat so that is dissolved in perfect timing. Next stage, please take the caution. You're going to bring your hot sugar syrup over to your mixer. You're going to put it onto a very low speed. One, that's fine. And we're going to very slowly, pouring down the side of the bowl, decant our syrup into our egg whites. Just going to turn it up ever so slightly. You do not want it laying out everywhere, which happens a lot in my kitchen. So the key here is just to make sure that it is slowly combining in with your egg whites so that you don't end up with a horribly curdled, crystallised mess. Lovely. Okay, that's all of that in. Then we're going to pour in our gelatin as well, nice and slowly, just so we're not hitting too much heat. Fabulous. Now you thought we were done with flavour, but we're not, because I'm going to add in two more of my absolute favourites. First up, vanilla bean paste. If you guys weren't here, I'd lick that. And what else goes perfectly with the spices of Christmas? Oranges! So I'm going to go in with the zest of one beautiful orange. You only want the zest. Try not to go too far down into the pith because that's when you'll start getting bitterness. Now I want some bitter snowman. Right, we're now going to whack up the speed and this is going to go for about eight to ten minutes until it's fluffed up in volume and got nice and thick and sturdy. You want to get it to a kind of peaky texture. So if you want to make this your own and you don't fancy snowman, perhaps you want a Christmas tree, then now is the time to add any food colouring that you might want. And look at that. 
My stomach's making lots of noises right now. <laughs> I'm very excited. Okay, you are now going to decant this into a mold. So I've just lined here with greaseproof paper and a bit of oil, very light, neutral flavored oil, a roasting tin or a tray or anything that's got a nice high side to it, essentially. And you want your marshmallow to be of a lovely kind of thick but pourable consistency. Like freshly fallen snow. <laughs> it is so beautiful. It is velvety, soft and fluffy, which is what marshmallow has to be, right? We're now going to top this with a combination of 50-50 corn flour and icing sugar. So the reason we're using corn flour and icing sugar is that icing sugar absorbs water very quickly. Corn flour, however, is a bit like talcum powder on your body. It helps to kind of dry you out and absorb. So it means that we'll be able to A, turn it out and you won't have sticky, fluffy marshmallow fingers. You'll have a lovely powdery surface. You want to go for a very thick, generous layer of this. Don't be scared, pile it on. Lovely. Now all that's left to do is let this set for about two to three hours in a kind of room temperature environment, somewhere dry. So for our decoration, we're going to use some dark chocolate, which I've just set on a bain-marie here. A bain-marie being a bowl of water suspended, not touching some hot water. This just means that you're going to melt your chocolate nice and slowly, and you're not going to end up with any burnt or crystallized bits. And our marshmallow is set. It should have a lovely little fluffy jiggle to it, but we're going to take it out of the tray. And if you give it a little squidge, oh, that's what you want, the squidge. I'm going to start cutting. Get yourself a little bowl of your corn flour and icing sugar mix. Give a generous dusting to your snowman. And then we're going to just press it in. That is nothing more satisfying than that. Give it a little jiggle. <laughs> Look at him. Looks a bit ghost-like right now, but he will get magical. And we're actually popping him into our icing sugar. And then we're going to set him aside. And keep going. Using the different size cutters means that we can make the most of this mallow, but any off cuts and bits and pieces, do not throw those away. Either eat them as you go in, or what I like to do is sprinkle them on top of my hot chocolate, or get them on the open flame and have yourself a beautiful toasted marshmallow. It's squidgy, it's sweet, but not sickly. I think it's the spices in the orange. You almost feel like you're having a glass of mulled wine. Righty, let's take one of our big fellas. And literally, you just want to dip the hats. <laughs> Cute. It's more like a bonnet. <laughs> but it doesn't matter if they're a little bit rough around the edges. They're homemade. Give a little love. That's what counts. Right, we're going to take the rest of our chocolate, decant it into a piping bag, and give them their features. Eyes, mouth, buttons, should I give them a nose? Oh, this is where I've got to learn. A little can sometimes be enough. I'm going to carry on decorating these, but give them a go, and I hope you enjoy making these beautiful marshmallow snowmen. And I hope the people you give them to love them just as much as I do.